Hello and welcome in Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Mare Nostrum campaign as Holland. Alright, so I've go ahead and I've created a state here and I've finished the territorial core on uh, Holsten. And we're going to grant it to the nobility now, uh, which is going to be fine. It's going to take them up a little bit. Loyalty is going to be at 60%. Percentage of land is okay. Influence will be at 70%. It's pretty high. Uh, but we get quite a bit of manpower out of this, which is great because they are... No, that's, that's what it is. 100% autonomy, yet we're getting the full force limit, and we're getting full, full manpower from the province, which is going to be pretty good. Any interaction we can do here? I don't think we really need the general right now. Our army tradition is still pretty bad. This diplomat could be quite useful. I don't want to raise their influence any higher, though. That expires in quite a few years. We've given them a lot of land. Nope. Nothing I think we can really do there. Okay. Again, still in finance mode. Let's go straight down to no maintenance at all. Even though we, we're gonna do it, I mean, we need the money, but we're gonna do that anyway. Alright, more cores are complete. Or a, another core. Spend some more admin points. Excuse me. Is this like another state up here? It is. Territorial core. Are we at our state limit already? No, we're not. Why am I not allowed to make this to a state? Excuse me? We were able to instantaneously make this into a state. Hmm. I'm actually almost hoping that this rebellion fires while we're at war. Burgundy will seed. Hey, just got an achievement. Weird. Uh, Burgundy will cede French Comte to Lorraine. Burgundy will cede Vaud and Charlotte to Savoy. Burgundy will cede Loon to Holland. Hey, they gave us land. Cool. Milan will cede Bern to Savoy. Burgundy will release Bar. Burgundy will annul all treaties with Milan, and it will cost Savoy 104 points. This piece will cost us 28, uh, 28 Dipple points. We suffered 7.8 aggressive expansion, but they actually did return our core to us, which is quite nice. It does have horrible autonomy, but hey, we're at peace. And, uh, getting uh, awfully high there on military points. No, I say we're not going to do that. We will improve relations with you, however. Alright, well, we have another rival, another province here. It's a territorial core. I'm just, I'm completely not allowed to add it as a, uh, as a state. Alright, let's just, I want to take, take the time to see if I can figure this out. This is the area of Jutland. Jutland would cost... I'm getting the impression that even though it shows 10, I'm actually being limited to 5. I think that's what's happening right now.
Can you think of any other reason why we wouldn't be allowed to add this as a state? Well, hopefully this is just in the review build and they've already fixed it. For, for when it goes live. Looks like Brandenburg had a war that didn't go well. They got cut in half or something. They were right up next to us at one point. I think they owned that before, didn't they? There's these Frisians. Stupid bastards. Well, the good news is that we can be at full maintenance with reinforcement and still do this. If I grant military access to you, will you maybe come over here? You don't border me. It's unlikely. It's really quite hard to say which province they're going to move to. 50-50 between these two. Probably move toward our capital would be my guess. England's being a jerk. And we're at 999 points on military. We have excellent reductions here. Ooh, Dutch spy network in Bremen, minus 10%. Okay, so we've, we've got our answer. Cool. So Bremen is on Diplotech 7, Admintech 6. They are two Diplotechs ahead of us. It's a 5% discount per tech level. Wow. It's so significant. That's awesome. Well, despite the fact that uh, it's going to be expensive, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go innovative. I just love innovative. That's what I'm going to do. That That's going to give us what policy? Is our first policy? Foreign spy detection and spy network construction. I don't think we're going to take that one. I feel fine, actually, just tying up a diplomat for that tech cost reduction. It's really strong. They're relocating to Oldenburg. Why not just march there, you derps? Alright, well, since they're not going to move into one of our provinces here... Looks like we could just go engage them. We have two maneuver. We'll be the defender. What is up with this? You can only keep 1,007 points saved. Why? <laughs> Why can we go to 1,007? Okay. I mean, that's cool. Thank you for letting me do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spend some points here, I guess. We could buy down a rebellion. We could reroll generals. We need to try to prevent this thing from happening here. We have ten loans. We could shut it. We could slow this down by bumping up stability. We don't have any points for that anymore. Huh? What can we do? Really, we just we have to pay off our loans. We have Fourteen loans. What are the chances we can pay off a whole bunch of them? I'm assuming it's offering to pay back the top ones first. Try lending out our army to another nation. That would potentially give us the ability to get some more funds right away. Anybody at war nearby? Saxony's at war. I have military access to him. Let's consider it. Oh crap, I totally forgot what I was doing. I didn't do it. I think I'm going to go ahead and harsh treatment. Better than rerolling generals when we only have 20, I think. 20 uh, army tradition. All right, this financial situation. Um, I wonder, are we already at the point where the Peasants' War is going to fire no matter what? Possible. I don't think we're just not going to hire that guy. Okay, would you like to buy my troops, please? So 
So I'm guessing you just have no cash on hand. Yeah. Fortunate. Take a loan. Attitude towards enemies. They'll always accept free troops, so if we just wanted to interject ourselves into that war so that we could go raid and, you know, loot money and stuff, we could do that. It's certainly better than having your troops just sit around doing nothing. But... I'm awfully concerned about this Peasants' War. It's gonna fire in seven months now, and there's nothing I can do about it. Peasants' War is a bad situation to be in. Gain corruption, or gain a spy master. Take the spy master. I can't repay enough loans to make it go away, and we can't get our stability above one, so it's just not gonna happen. Gotta stay at full maintenance. Need to be in defensive terrain. And it's gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. Now it's definitely going to happen. I haven't, had to I haven't had to deal with the Peasants' War in quite a long time. But this has been a pretty rocky campaign. I've not done well. Here it comes, next month. S just declared war on mines. Alright. Make sure that our allies all have military access. Let's hope that they're going to help out with the Peasants' War. The big just joined the coalition, huh? They're the only one. Everyone else left. One more month. Taking military tech's not going to help, because they're just going to have whatever modifiers we have. We are making money. Here it is, Peasants' War. Dire times are ahead of us. Lose 6 prestige, lose 10... Lose 6 stability, 10 prestige, 17 peasant regiments rise up in Holston. Great. Cool, who needs prestige anyway, right? And that was totally not Holston, by the way. Alright, so to end this, fewer rebels control, then we have to get our stability up to 1. Sucks, man. There goes a whole bunch of admin points, right, as we're trying to do in a, a administrative ID group. But hopefully, since they have no leader, we just park our army in mid Jilland and let them come to us. Hopefully they don't try to relocate. And this is going to buy us plenty of time for aggressive expansion to come down, since we're going to have to basically just sit and pay off 948 ducats worth of loans. You have no leader. We have Hugo, who is rolling epic zeros. Versus the nines of that guy. We're getting beat up. Did we just lose diplomatic relationship slots? We did. Ouch. It's a rather ugly penalty. We are so close to losing this fight, but we actually managed to win. Alright, maintenance down to zero. I'm not going to even... try. Mr. Pope man, do you want to give us free stability, please? Did I somehow have enough papal influence to make that happen? Evil State's getting wrecked. Well, we gotta play for the long term as well. I mean, we'll take the, uh... Let's go for the Diplo Rep guy. Nah, it doesn't matter. We'll take the Spy Network guy. Let's see if we can, uh, screw with our, our enemies for a while. 
Maybe we can uh, mess with England's trade power. Who else contests our income from trade? Pretty much just England. A little bit of France. France is neutral toward us right now. We're very weak. And they still don't trust us. But if it wasn't for the fact that we had too many diplomatic relations, they're really not that far off. Rebel factions. 5%. What? How do you have 5% progress? Since when can you do that? How did you go up by 5? Well, let's start this process. Just is what it is. It's going to cost us 600 admin points. Burgundy's Ravelous. Six hundred admin points that we could be sinking into some good stuff here. I think we'll just take this tech now. We got kicked out of Bremen, huh? Might as well sabotage the reputation or something. I like how you can do this. Notice how we don't have any diplomats available, but we can still do it. Yearly corruption plus one. Infiltrate. Lifts the fog of war until 96. So for five whole years, you just get to see what they're doing. That's pretty cool. It's not even that expensive. 40 points. I think the most damaging we could probably do would be let's corrupt his officials and let's totally infiltrate his administration so we can see inside his lands. Ah! Oh, you know what else? Is it also showing us his navy? Yeah, Bremen's got some ships over here. That's why it lifted the fog over here. So we can actually see everything his ships can see, too. That's... Surprising. I think that it used to just be you could see their provinces, but no, we're just seeing everything he sees. Neat. We're not going to worry about the relationship slots. That penalty to relationships is just going to be there. Bond has been discovered building a spy network. The diplomat was expelled. I'm going to turn this one off. I just don't care. They do it all the time. I want I want the pop-up on when I get caught. It sucks. Holland gets isolate rebels. Seriously? I'm just going to take the damn penalty. We have 5,000 whole troops right now. I mean, we could afford to maybe get a few more regular troops. Like, we gotta stop relying so much on mercs. It's part of the problem. We need the men, but... One's attacking Norway. Meaning Scotland is attacking Denmark. Okay. Denmark was allied to Burgundy. Burgundy honored the call. Are we going to see a military access request here coming in pretty soon, I guess? Here goes Benedicta. Wow. Jeez, game. I guess we're just going to get less band power. <laughs> the game hates me and wants me to be unhappy.
Give me some of those positive stability events that I I needed from the Swiss campaign. Okay, so I feel like this is the second time we've had this event. Is this just gonna keep on happening? Constantly? If we don't crush the rebels, it's just gonna keep on being bad, huh? Alright, fine. Let's raise our maintenance. Ready for this BS. Leave this up until we have to take it off. I think like the only thing that's holding us up right now is our alliance with Austria is keeping anyone else from attacking us, but we're not in a good spot. I need five more troops. You know what? Crying out loud, just take the damn loan, build build some more men. We're gonna turn right around and hire two more mercs now again. We're already focused on admin. Should be 17 regiments. We're full maintenance. Have need time to recover. Man, it looks like this rebellion is going to have to happen. Alright. Next episode, we'll take care of the Peasants' War. We're going to get our way out of this, I promise. Just give it some time. <laughs> okay, thanks, game. Alright, see you again soon.